Yeah, huh? That looked like a seriously hard workout. Are you up for it? Grab a bozu and let's get started. Good morning everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Okay, someone requested a Bozu workout. Now you may not all own a Bozu. You could do this with a bench or a box or you could just modify on the floor if you like to still work out with me and you're like, hey, she did a Bozu workout. I don't have a Bozu, but I'm gonna work out anyway. Feel free to join in. But a lot of people own this little piece of equipment. Bozu stands for both sides utilized. Well, at least that's what I heard years ago. I know it's kind of like an old school piece of equipment, but we're bringing it back because it's actually really difficult. As you saw at the beginning, we're gonna do some heavy duty exercises using this Bozu. So you're gonna require one of those and some dumbbells if you have those as well. Grab those things, get ready to go. Here's your format for today's workout. You'll do 45 seconds worth of work with 15 seconds of rest and so that I can tell you what's coming up next. I've got three different circuits for you today, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the warm-up. Let's start with a little warm-up. So just place your bozu in the center. Okay, we're gonna do a little side-to-side -side squat to get things warmed up to start with. Ready, we're gonna squat here, shuffle over there and squat. Here we go, reach your hips back. Step, step, squat, okay? Up, up, good. Now, truth be told, my Bosu is a little larger than normal, and I'll tell you why that is. I used to teach a lot of boot camps, and um, I would carry it in my car. Not recommend it, because the heat from it uh, makes it uh, deflate a little bit, and then you have to put more heat in it, or sorry, more air in it, and then it expands, and then it gets bigger, and it's probably twice the size as a normal bozu, but maybe that just makes it more difficult for me. In front of that, there you go. All right, three, two, and one. Great, let's just move it forward. We're gonna do some simple rotations on it. So get into plank position, get your shoulder width apart. We're alternating, reaching to the ceiling. Here we go. And stretch up, again, still in a little warm up mode here. So just getting things stretched up and warmed up. <laughs> yeah, this pose is way larger than normal. I hope it doesn't bust on me. I haven't actually used it in quite some time. It's been downstairs in the basement, collecting dust as I don't teach boot camp anymore. And as you know, if you follow this channel for a while, I have never done a Bozu workout, so it was time for sure. All right, 10 more seconds. It. We're gonna move to some front lunges, alternating front lunges coming up. One more right here. All right, bring it up. So, we're gonna aim to step in the center right there. Alternating front lunge, stand super tall, push off through that heel. Ready, let's go. All right, drop that back knee and low. So a little bit of imbalance here. You have to kind of fight for your balance and make sure you're not jutting forward over that knee, okay? You wanna drop that back knee, nice and low. This is actually, besides the imbalance component, a little easier than doing it from the floor, in my opinion. Especially mine, since it's so high. Good, stay tall here. Not to worry if you're thinking, oh, this is pretty slow. Remember, we're still in warm-up mode. The difficult part is coming, <laughs> I promise. Good. All right, let's go back to our side to side. So just, all right, instead of just walking over the bozu now, we'll actually do a side to side shuffle squat. Okay, so start squat on this side, ready, take it low here, and jump it there. That's it, get nice and low. Sound like an elephant in my landing here. Whew, so a good burn on the legs already. All right, halfway. Drop 
drop your butt low. Nice and pop up high at the top there. In four, three, two, and time. Okay, let's go back to that rotation. Down into plank position. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Get ready and rotate up. Big stretch and switch sides. Use this time to stretch open in the pectoral area there. You want to be cautious that your hand has a good hold before you release all your weight on there, okay? Especially if you start to sweat. Definitely don't want to slip off this thing. I've done that. It doesn't feel as good as you think. Good, in three, two, and time. All right, alternating front lunge coming up. So, lunging forward, alternating, drop your back knee. Ready in three, two, and let's go. Okay. Aim for that middle circle there. And stay tall. Now, as we move into more difficult exercises, of course, you can make them more difficult by adding resistance through dumbbells. So feel free to do that, okay? Even here, you could be holding dumbbells if you are already warmed up and ready to go. All right, last eight seconds here. Great, let's take one more round of that, just to make sure everything's good to go. All right, squat, shuffle, squat. Reaching hips back in three, two, and start here. That's it. Another gorgeous day here today. Like all of September was pretty cold, and now we're getting like 18 above, which probably is in like the high 60s, I think, if you're in Fahrenheit. It's warm, like 70 above maybe even, I don't know. Anyway, it's hard to know how to dress, isn't it? Because it's like almost freezing in the morning. Time, and then, Boiling by the afternoon. So, layers, I guess, right? Get ready. Let's go back to that rotation. Plank position. Three, two, here we go. I told you I broke my wrist a couple of years ago, right? That one wrist on here a bit pinchy for me, so it's going to modify a little bit here. That's what you do as you go along. Just modify as you go. Oh, looking good. Ten more seconds. In six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, last front lunges. And then we'll get to the nitty gritty, as it were. The fun part. Make sure you grab your dumbbells after this one. Ready, and a lunge. So we have one, one YouTuber. Her name is Emily. Shout out Emily if you're watching this. Anyway, she had knee surgery a couple of, like a month or so ago. And she, <laughs> she wrote on the, uh, our last video, she was like, I'm just kind of watching through these because I miss it. And, uh, you know, like I'm sitting here in my chair trying to do some upper body exercises, but I can't walk very well. I have crutches and it 
totally sucked. I get it, Emily. Injuries do suck. But what I applaud Emily for is that she's still doing something, right? Upper body still works. Arms still work. Yeah, do some bicep curls. Tricep skull crushers. There's lots you can do even though you're injured. But of course, always go towards your doctor's recommendations. Okay, let's move on. BBB in this round, burpees, back, and biceps. All right, you're gonna do a first plank jack burpee, okay? Right like that. We're gonna start with that for 45 seconds and then I'll explain the rest. Let's go. Okay, jump it out, jack it out, knee soft, and press. Ready, jump, jack, and squat press. Great little shoulder move here. Little cardio, little ab, little leg, little balance. A lot going on. My bozu's squeaking every time I put my body weight on it. Woo! It's definitely getting the heart rate up. You have 10 seconds left. Last one here. All right, flip that bozu over. We're gonna stand on top and do some bent over rows. Okay, so I got my 15 pound dumbbells. I'm standing, finding my center of balance, hinging at the waist and rowing here. Let's go. So really having to keep my core intact, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Good. I don't want to bob my back. It's stationary. It's just my arms are rowing. Nice neutral neck looking at the ground. Good. You've got less than 10 seconds here. A little glute activation I feel. I'm trying to prevent myself from falling off. Woo! Last one there. Stand. Stretch it out a bit. Okay, staying up here for our hammer curls. My knees are soft, shoulders back. Okay, tummy tucked in tight. Nice neutral pelvis. Hammer curls right here. Up, turn at the top. Squeeze that bicep. And down. Up. Great. Now, if you wanted to woo, flip this over onto the other side, if you're good at that, if you feel comfortable and you can balance yourself, like if you're a pro, Bozuist. <laughs> Bozuist? <laughs> um, I think I'm, I just made that word up. A Bozuist. If you're a professional Bozuist, feel free to flip it on the other side. I'm gonna do it like this because I have a lot of air in mine. I <laughs> don't want to tip over. Okay, back to the start. Burpees, back, biceps. Let's go back to the burpees. Woo! Okay, ready and start. It reminds me of, uh, I think I told you the other day that cannabis weed just became legal in Canada yesterday on Wednesday, the 17th. Anyway, um, I heard an interview on the radio and they're opening a ton of stores featuring this cannabis and the people selling it are gonna be called canistas. <laughs> Not barista, like coffee, canista. Doesn't that sound like a like, um, yeast infection cream? I think it is actually, canista, I don't know. Anyway, they're canistas. So there you go. I can say Bozuist if they can say Kanista. Okay, bent over, row. Okay, pop on top, hinge at the waist, row here. Now you see how controlled and slow I am on this one. No sense in rushing. Focus on the balance. 
and squeezing, retracting their shoulder blades. Not shrugging. You're over half. My legs are shaking. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! There she goes. Okay. <laughs> Up again. Biceps. All right, knees soft, tummy tight. Shoulders back, hammer curls. Let's go. And up. Keep your back nice and flat. Tight abs. That's it. It's fun because there's a lot going on, isn't there? Like you really, I feel my calves, my feet, my core, my glutes, all activating to keep me on there. Three, two, there's your time. Okay, last round. Let's do it. The butt burpee. Shaky, I'm not gonna lie. It's good. Here we go. Out, jab, and press. I jump wide on this so I can do a little squat and then stand. bent over row in four three two here we go and row Woo. this is work with the heavy dumbbells for a second. Uh, feel that lower back a bit. And keep my core nice and engaged. But when the weight's in front like that, it's almost inevitable because you're holding your upper body up, right? Keep it tight, keep it still. All right, good stand. Hammer curls. Whew. Last one here, then a little break. Okay, knees soft, shoulders back. Drive those hammer curls up, here we go. And up. That's it. Little chest coming up next. And cardio. And abs, so many fun things. You can do on a bozu, who knew, hey? Hey, let me know in the comments below if you did this workout with us that you don't have bozu. Did you modify? Was it hard? Did it work? Let me know. Five seconds, three, two, and time. Okay, grab some water, stretch out those biceps, and join me back. Grab some heavy dumbbells, I got my 15s here. Get onto your uh, back and head, okay? So I'm lying on there, my head is supported. We're gonna do a pulse press with the heavy 15s here. Ready, and hips are up. Little pulse at the bottom, full range at the top. Pulse and 
squeeze at the top. Up, that's it. Okay, as you can tell, I'm in that bridge position, so I've got a little bit of imbalance from being on the bozu. I've got extra chest with that little pulse here, got a little glute and core, keeping my hips up like that. So again, lots of multi-muscle, multi-joint going on. It is just fantastic, really. And you only have 13 seconds left. Good, keep your hips up and up. Full sit up is coming up next. So get rid of those dumbbells and get ready for that. Okay, set those aside. So, you're going to start by standing. You're gonna find your good center of balance. You're gonna sit down, lean back, stand up, jump. Ready? Let's do it. Sit down, lean back, hands above the head, and jump. Oh, I'm so elephanty right now. I'm gonna land like I'm on a carton of eggshells, not like an elephant. Woo, this is good. This part's fun. I like the jump at the top. Only go back as far as you feel comfortable, and you don't have to put your hands above your head either. That just increases difficulty. Of course, you could even hold a weight if you wanted to increase that more. Last one here. Good. Okay. Another cardio one because that wasn't cardio -ish enough. Okay. Hops on and off. You're gonna jump squat on, jump squat off. Ready. And here we go. You jump low, explode low, low, low. That's it. Woo, lactic acid, acuhydrogen. That's what I read the other day. Not lactic acid as we thought. There is lactic acid, but that's not what causes the burn. This is hard. Okay. Couple more. Oh. Seven seconds. One more, one more. Oh. Brutal. Okay. Back to that chest press. Moving quickly onto your back. Pulse press. In four. Three, hips up, go. Woo. That's it. So if you didn't have a bozu for that one, you could do tuck jumps, squat jumps, broad jump forward, three jumps back. We did that the other day. So lots of options, of course. To sit up, you could do like a candlestick or just some basic crunches. Always modifications to make things more difficult or easier. Three, two, and time. Okay, get those out of the way. Get ready for that sit up. This one is actually, this is fun. The board is on it anyway. We're ready. Start. Make sure that you know where your bum is gonna land before you flop down. Don't wanna hurt your tailbone here. It's good. Good ab exercise. I really feel it as I have to come up. Good, 10 seconds. Oh, one more. Why not? Okay. Woo! Switching this jump a bit. If you want, face the front, turn and jump on straight, okay? A little different. Don't try it if you're not comfortable. Ready? And low, turn, low, 
Counter. Flow. Just switch things up a bit. Little hand-eye coordination. Switch sides, sorry for the butt view. Front. on how to grow your glutes the scientific way. He did his doctoral thesis on the squat versus the glute, uh, glute thrust, which had better glute activation. Anyway, he concluded that it was the glute thrust. Okay, sit-ups. But uh, what did he say today? Uh, he was just saying that for, ready? Here we go. For hypertrophy, which is muscle building, um, oh, I forgot the joke. It's important, even critical, for muscle activation to put your mind in the muscle and really have um, concrete focus on which muscle is being activated. He says that uh, when that happens, the likelihood of more of the muscle to activate is incredibly high. So think about what you're using in the middle of doing it. Okay? Stay focused. Don't talk so much. <laughs> That's funny, right? Okay. Last one. I got here. You can jump straight, you can jump lateral. It doesn't matter to me. Just jump. Ready? And start. I think I'll do five of each. Three, four, five. One, two. Ugh, oh, hurts. Three, four, Almost there. Oh, I can't get five. Okay, great job. Let's move on to the other circuit. Let's end a difficult, okay? We're gonna do a push up. This can be done from the ground. Hands are wide. You're gonna push up, knee to elbow, alternating. Okay, again, it can be done from the ground. Ready, or your knees. Two, and here we go. So push up there, tight, knee in right there. Opposite knee now. Really be sure of your hand placement. And don't let that back arch, okay? Nice and slow. Break as you need. Woo! That is all abs, baby. Boom, boom, 
boom. All around that bozu, okay? Then you're gonna turn the opposite direction when you get to the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, da, 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 da. then switch directions. Little hand-eye coordination here. Nothing wrong with that. Seventeen seconds. Woo! Let's work. Not gonna lie. Three, two, time. Ugh, gross. Okay, starfish abs. Find your sweet spot. You're gonna open everything up ah! and close everything. I'm not gonna be good at this. Ready, here we go. And in, sit it back, and in. You see how slow I'm going? Concentrating on form. On my breathing. Ooh. Ah. That's hard. On balance. I bet this would be easier with a bozy not so full of air, but that's okay. Okay, it worked. It was doable. Let's go back to that push up. This is the hardest one for me right here. Okay, in three, two, start. Push up, knee into opposite. My feet are wider than shoulder width on that push up. Rest if you need. Good, 10 seconds. Woo! Oh, that's hard. Okay, let's go to that app. Uh, sorry, round the world. Hoppy hop. Ready? Three, two, let's go. Get those knees high if you can. Takes a little concentration, doesn't it? Especially going here. Non-dominant way. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, time. Uh, okay, star, five star. Starfish, five star, I don't know. Okay, ready, go. Exhaling as you go out, inhaling as you come in is easiest. Isn't it? This helps balance a bit more. Almost there, six seconds. Four. Two, time. One more round. You good little workout today. I don't mind it at all. 
Well, I mind these, but the rest of it, I don't mind. Three, two, start. So much more abs on this one for me like this. Five seconds. Uh, uh, that's all I can do. Uh, brutal. Okay, round the world. Get ready. Three, two, let's go. Try to keep your legs up above your hips. Makes it more difficult. Good, 15 seconds. All right, last 10, hold it here. Hold it here, come on. Woo. Let's work in five, four, three, two. Ah. Brutal. It's fun. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for the stretch if you can. Great job. I hope your bows just arrived. I hope you did. Let's go into a little chest stretch here, hands above and pressing the chest to the ground. I mean, there's so many different exercises you could do on the bows. Hey, that was just really like a taste of, of what you could do on this bad boy. Uh, flipping it upside down, like I said, is definitely more advanced, but it does add that element of imbalance. Now the thing about Bozu, let's take the arm under here. It is great for, for in, like practicing balance, um, um, getting that core activated, your lumbar muscles, uh, actually even activating the muscles in your feet, your calves, all of that such size. But if you're going for muscular gain, if you wanna get really big, this is not your ticket to ride for that. This requires too many stabilizer muscles, um, helper muscles, which is great, but you typically have to go slower. You have to lift lighter because of the imbalance. So if you're, if you're trying to build mus muscle size, then go ahead and you know kick that to the side and do all those actions like I just did without it. Let's bring the leg up, increase the stretch in the hamstring here, but keep your knees soft, okay? Don't lock it out. Uh, does that make sense? Come here, Max. Come here, we're done. The dog, he's afraid of this, like afraid. He's very tentative. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, he's not gonna. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you're going for muscular strength, lift as heavy as you can on stable surface and then you're gonna be able to lift heavier. So that's, that's kind of how that goes. This is great for, did you switch sides? This is great for, again, everything I said, balance, help your muscle activation. Um, lumbar muscles, 
stabilizer muscles, all of those things. If you want a stronger core, do, do some exercises on here. Bring this bat, bad boy back out again. Bring him back to the party. He's been gone for a bit and has gained a bit of air. <laughs> Mine has anyway. That's really not the best. I don't recommend what I just did when it's so full like that because it's very unstable. Okay, butterfly stretch here. But uh, it worked. It worked for what we wanted it to, so that's good. All right, let's gently push those knees. Come here, Max. Come here. Come here. Look. Look how afraid he is. Like a little chicken. Come here, I'll hold you. I promise. Come here. Everyone wants to see you. Carla likes you. Right, Carla? I, <laughs> Carla, one of our viewers, she's always like, you be nice to Max. I'm nice, Carla. See, look. He's just afraid of that, so probably putting him on. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to put him on there. You're too afraid. Okay, sit down. Anyway, uh, let's bring our arm across here. A little chest stretch. No, he's out. He's like, forget you, lady. I don't like this game. It's okay. Fine. Go. Go live your life. It's fine. Other side. Ooh. Um, make sure that you let me know in the comments below what sorts of videos you like, because someone asked for this, and then we did it. See, if you ask, I will do. If you build it, they will come. But not always. Don't ask me to do yoga. Actually, speaking of that, up and over, November. Last year in November, maybe it was two years ago, can't I remember, I, I was just kind of launching this channel then. Well, I've had it for years, but I, I re revamped it last year in November. And, um, but in November, I love to do like some wellness components because it's kind of a dreary month for a lot of people anyway. And, um, and, and so to focus on wellness, let's put our hands behind our back, stretch the chest, is a really great thing too. So we're going to do a, a weekly challenge, kind of like we did with our Fit for Fall, but in November. And at the tail end of the videos is going to be some wellness components to help you move daily in your wellness. So things like, you know, uh, visiting sleep and figuring out how to get better um, sleeps for you so that you can control your ghrelin and leptin levels, which is really important in saving off weight gain, okay? Uh, we'll look at hormones, we'll look at emotional intelligence, we'll look at some mental health issues. Let's round through the back here. Okay, uh, how to keep appointments and making sure that you like get your mammograms, get your pap tests and doing all those things that are going to increase your wellness. Um, so looking forward to that in November. I'll say more about that as it comes up. All right, as always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining, and thanks for trying out the Bozu.